let's start and take a PNID for example. So here's our vessel to it. Here's a nozzle with the flange connection to it. And here's a pipe attached to it. Now you see this big number of line. This has a lot of important information stored inside it. Let us try to decode this and understand it. So let's take a whiteboard and let's take this line number with us. Now each dash represents a particular section of the line number. So let us make each section to it. The first section basically represents the line size, which is very simple. So this means it is a 10 inch line. Now the next thing is unit number. Now what is meant by unit number? Imagine this is your entire petrochemical complex. Now that complex is divided into various categories. So for example, there is something called as a storage unit. There is 141 cracking unit. Maybe there's a utility unit, etc. So this unit is basically put here. So we get to know that this line exists in which unit. The next important thing is the process fluid so here it mentions st mentions here as steam so whatever is the process fluid that the line is carrying a short form is usually mentioned here this is a general practice project to project it might differ but this is usually the general practice used for making a line number the next thing is the unique number now this is a very important aspect if you look at any line you can imagine this to be like the fingerprint identifier any two people will not have the same fingerprint in that same case with respect to any two lines they would not have the same line number they might have the same pipe spec they might have the same rating but they will never have the same line number to it so line number is unique for each pipe the next important thing is the insulation or tracing which is kept at the last so for example the hi stands for heat insulation there would be something like cold insulation there is something like personal protection or no insulation etc so that is mentioned in the end but did you notice we missed something we missed this part of it this is what I call as the DNA of the pipe. This is one of the most important things that can help us in a lot of engineering activities. So let us look and explore this in depth. So here's our line number mentioned and this is the DNA of the pipe. So let us try to decode the DNA of the pipe. The first thing is the rating. Now if you see here in terms of the rating, these alphabets represent example, it would represent as like A represents is 150 rating, B represents 300, C represents 600, D might represent 900 and so on. So this alphabet, first alphabet usually is used to represent the rating. The second one would be used for corrosion allowance. Now what is meant by corrosion allowance? Example, here's a pipe. Now each pipe will have certain amount of corrosion happening to it. We cannot select a metal that is absolutely corrosion proof or the cost will go very high. So for example, we select a carbon steel pipe. Now carbon steel would have certain corrosion. So the piping gives us what is the allowed corrosion. For example, a certain amount of it gets corroded, still the mechanical properties of the pipe will still remain intact. For example, it could be something like the 2 might stand for 0.01 mm of uh, corrosion allowance per year, 0.02 mm of inches of corrosion allowance per year, example, and so on and so forth. So whatever is the corrosion allowance that the pipe can handle is given in the corrosion allowance section. The next one here after we complete the corrosion allowance part is this material selection. So what is the material of the pipe is also mentioned here. For example, A might stand for carbon steel, B might might stand for SS304, C might stand for stainless steel 316, etc. So we can get to know the material of the pipe as well. This digit last in the end, they usually stand for service. For example, C01 might stand for caustic service. So special precautions have to be taken with respect to material, with respect to coating. Then for example, hydrogen services. So maybe certain hydrogen services require special cleaning, special type of materials that have to be selected. Gold plating needs to be done. So anything with respect to certain uh, typical services is mentioned there. So certain precautionary measures have to be taken. NACE for example, etc.